Cal obviously picked up a bit of an injury there, just to explain what's happened. I know it's sort of still at these stages. Well, we had the medics come in um, earlier and they just think that Tom boys up. So, um, we'll get that scene to tomorrow and see what the, what the score is. So, no idea at the moment what that means for you in the in the immediate future. Yeah, no idea. I think I, I, I think I'll be after Blackpool Bill. Um, fingers crossed. I'm hoping I'm not after Frox Kessler Bill because really wanted to get on that one. Well, word about the fight itself. Your first at super flyweight. How did you find that? I felt strong. I felt fit. I wasn't blowing at all. I didn't, you know, as I said, as I said to everyone in here, I just, you know, I felt fresh. I don't feel like I've done anything, and I know I didn't do much because of this arm. I couldn't throw a hook. The only thing I could throw was like a jab, but I had to make sure it connected. But I felt good, man. I felt really good. How early did you feel like go? End of the first round. So you got through most of the fight, won pretty much every round. Yeah, but um, you know it's part part of the game. It's like it's, it's a learning curve, and just get on with it. And the whole experience of fighting at super flyweight, how was getting to the weight and all the training? Was it different at all for you? No, not really. Because um, I make eight six pretty comfortably. I don't have to really diet hard. But um, yeah, it was good, and I felt I felt really good in there. So did you see your long term future at that weight. Um, I want to, yeah, long term, yeah. As, you know, I want to win British titles and Commonwealth, and then ho uh, hopefully a world title at the weight, and then obviously I can move up and try and do some at bantam weight as well. Was that your toughest opponent yet? I think so, because he took he took some um, he took some good shots and he was strong. He came and had a go, but um, I couldn't really do much apart from jab and try and look for that right hand. But um, the left hook was really missed, and I missed it tonight. And uh, I can't wait to that sorted and I can get throwing them left hooks to the body again because I know I would have got him out of there. But um, it's part of the game, like I said, you just got to get on with it and try find a way to win, get that W. Well, so while well, you're still in that stage of sort of learning fights, I guess it's almost a positive to have some, to go through something like that in a fight. Yeah, uh, you got to take the positives. You know, I stayed calm. You know, I didn't lose my shape. I just I just carried on boxing, stayed relaxed, and just. Got the points for victory. Um, I knew once it happened, it was going to be hard to get the stoppage. But um, it's not all about knocking everyone out. They will come. They will come. Brilliant. Thank you, Carl. And I'd like to thank Deep Team Des, who um, from Birmingham, who helped a lot with my f fitness and strength and conditioning training. Well, you just done it. Thanks, Carl. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cheers. <laughs>